Hi Libra, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 2nd to the 8th of November. I've got no announcements, so let's get straight into it. So we've got your current situation and now we want you facing your fears and taking your power back. And then... We are looking at your manifestation, your wish fulfillment, and why this may be fucked. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. There's a card there that really wants to come out and it's flicking, but it's not quite making it. And then what the fuck is out of your hands for Libra? The reconnection to your true self and your outcome. Okay. Okay, my lovelies. So what started your what the fuck? There's a bit of a story here. Oh, okay. So, darlings, you started off with the Ten of Pentacles. This is a completion. This is ultimate happiness. Bills are being paid. Everybody's being fed. Everybody's coming together to ensure that every member of the family is catered for, looked after, all of those sort of things. And although it felt like hard work, you kind of like went with it because you just thought it was so worthwhile. And this ultimate happiness just seemed to um, be absolutely right for you. Um, but going from a 10 to an 8, I'm kind of getting that maybe you threw yourself into work. Um, and I'm going to say highly skilled work. Followed by the yes card. So... With the world tree, that means your roots are going deep. I'm getting that you've taken a step back from this 10 and you've gone back into work mode. It's almost like you bounced off of the 10, off of the happiness, and now you're relying on the yes card, the, the yes card that is saying yes to your hard work, your hard efforts. And then right in behind that, you've got the Page of Wands. Now, this is going to be a younger person, somebody who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sag. They're going to magically show you how to lift or move a blockage. Now, I'm going to get this may be a blockage around a project or a plan. Um, but right in behind that, You've got the illumination of a truth or an untruth or an illumination of a pathway forward. Um, I'm not getting that there's anything to do with distortion in here. I am just getting that you stepped away from this 10 back into an 8 of extreme hard work, becoming the master craftsman, digging those roots very deeply, making the world your own is what I'm getting and this page has come in to remove the blocks and that's allowed the moon room to come in and illuminate something for, for you. I'm kind of getting that this person may have said something, this young person may have said something that woke you up. And the block is not a block 
a physical block. I think it may have been a mental block. And that allowed you to see with real clarity exactly what was going on there. So, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. Um, you've had to look at something from a completely different perspective with the Oak King. Um, he's quite happy to sit upside down and do this figure eight, but I'm getting that you weren't. You weren't willing to roll over and just take this shit. You stood in your power and you looked at things from a different perspective completely. And what you revealed has made you even stronger. I'm kind of getting that you thought it may weaken you, but it hasn't. It's made you stronger. So moving around to your your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked it's not fucked darlings in fact i think probably for the first time that you're getting it that when there's an ace of chalices this is about loving you this is about taking time and caring about your cup adding what you want to it so that if a cup comes towards you and i'm going to say if a cup comes towards you that it will complement it won't contradict what you want, what you've desired, what you need in your cup. It will completely complement. Now, that's not going to say it's a carbon copy. It's not going to say that it's a mirrored copy. It is going to complement. So, if there is something, say like for instance, you've decided to, you want happiness, the other cup is going to bring harmony. If you have decided you want abundance, the other cup is very likely to bring in something abundant with it. Do you see what I mean? That's your manifestation, darlings. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. You have got the wild hunt. You shone some light into that hunt. And do you know something? When I saw that, I kind of got the feeling that maybe... You did some of your own research on the internet and you've uncovered something. You've thrown some light into something and you've shown it for its chaotic force that it is. And it is chaos. Absolute chaos. But down here at the bottom, okay, there's bricks falling, but down here there is no chaos. The chaos is all up there. And you shone a light into that. So what that's telling me is you've got choices to make. Either you can leave that where it is, or you can nick some of the bricks and start a new foundation, all of your own, somewhere else. And I'm getting for your movement, your journey, um, that some of you will stick where you are, but you won't be sticking with who it is that's around you. And for others of you, you are going to take those bricks and fucking run. So what you can do about the situation, darlings, seven of pentacles, you have choices. There is choices around how you make your money, how your career is going to pan out. What it is that you... Hi, oh God, and I kicked the tripod. Sorry, darlings. Libra, I'm really sorry. The blinking camera stopped working again. I tell you, I'll be glad when this Mercury re retrograde is over and done with. So we were dealing with uh, what you can do about the situation. I was talking to you about your career path um, and what it means for you. There is choices to be made. And I'm kind of getting for you that throwing yourself into work, um, what you can do about it is you've now got the eight and then going down to the seven. It may be that you're going to choose to do something different. But right as you're in the middle of choosing, you've got the eight of chalices, which is um, a journey. But you're not sure which way to go. Not sure. Uh, but your chalices have got your back. The sun's got your back. Um, they're saying, you know, once you've made your choice, we, we support you with this. So what you can do about the situation is understand there's going to be choices around these pentacles 
you may go in a completely different direction um but right now i'm kind of getting um there may be just a little bit of confusion about uh where it is that you want to direct yourself but that's okay because after chaos there is always some confusion um that's no that's no bad thing and if you're confused on if in doubt do now until you have got absolute clarity about what is going on um because what's out of your hands right now what the universe is saying that they want you to have um what the fuck you can't do anything about is this king of pentacles now this king may well come in male or female to offer you some sound solid advice and they may be telling you that the time's not right to be fiddling around with business and I would go with that to be honest with you unless it's something really positive that you can do during the Covid crisis and let's face it it's not going to be easy for anybody for at least the next year um, if your business is successful and it's doing okay don't tweak with it um, but if it's not you may be going to this person, male or female, to get some solid advice or even some investment. But right now, the universe is saying you need to deal with this lot first and then this person will come in. So, lovely is the reconnecting to the true you. Libra, you know as well as I do that you don't take a leap of faith without a full fucking risk assessment. You know this. You know you're going to come up with a thousand scenarios of how something's going to pan out. So for you to take a leap of faith about anything, it's got to be pretty much dead sir, hasn't it? Really. Because otherwise your, your scales are going to be unbalanced. And the reason I know this is because, you, as you know, I am a Libra. I'm a double air water. And let me tell you, that is double trouble as far as I'm concerned. Um, darlings, yeah, it's saying to reconnect to the true you, you need to have a leap of faith. You need to kind of like just, you know, that's what I heard, you know, you know your stuff, you know what it is that you want, you know where it is you want to be, and they're saying just fuck it, just jump, just, just go for it. I have not got a clue why you said that i think it's because of the confusion the chaos and the confusion that it's saying to you just fucking go for it it's a once in a lifetime thing especially especially for a libra especially for a libra and darlings the priestess your last card is saying to you use your intuition use the moon to uncover a truth or an untruth Use your stones as protection, but above all, use that intuition to add magic to that mix. At the bottom of the deck, you have got the Nine of Chalices. This is a manifestation of wish fulfillment coming true for you. Your cups are in the upright, your fire behind you, your desire, your wants and needs are in full flame and you are looking at the crystal ball with a lot of clarity and sense going forward before i use the angels and ancestors let's get your energy card i have forgotten to do this for all of the readings that i've done today that's water and air so can i have a cl uh, clarity can I have an energy card for Libra, please, for this week? Do I'm going to take that one? Yeah. Wolf, use your instinct, Libra. Um, your intuition's always high, darlings. It is. You've got the priestess there saying, use your intuition. You've got this one here saying instinct. Your instinct about this Ten of Pentacles was absolutely correct thinking and looking from a different perspective was correct looking into this wild hunt into this chaos was absolute you've gone on your instinct every single time and you have 
been absolutely right each and every time is what I'm getting. I'm not getting that there's been a wrong move. Blimey. What happened to those? I haven't even asked them yet. Can I have some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for Libra for this week, please? Anything else? Okay. So your first one that just dropped out, the Protection Guardian, drop your shield. You have the Lord take charge with authority. You have the White Witch be the light. And you have the Shaman trust in higher forces listen lovelies libra that was a nice reading it wasn't ex it wasn't an extraordinary reading but it was a nice reading and i'm kind of getting that you are breathing a sigh of relief that this week isn't as bad as it could have been with mercury still in shadow darlings look after yourselves know that i love and appreciate each and every one of you for being with me on this journey Please be safe wherever you are and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.